Howdy ho! My name is Tom Marone, and this is Sophia Pelletier. Today we're going to do a little segment called Fake, fake It Till You Fake It. Fake It Till You Bake It is a hit new UCTV show wherein I'm going to be baking from a recipe, but Tone, I'm not going to be. So today I'll be making brownies without a recipe. So I imagine you got to mix the wet ingredients first, which would be eggs and sugar is considered a wet ingredient as well. And butter too. I'll use this. And we've got a fork for whisking or mixing. So I'll add two large eggs. All right, there we go. First egg down, one to go. Two eggs in there. I imagine two eggs will be fine. So next is sugar, which will be, once I, I'll figure out how much, okay. I say a third of a cup is fine. So we're just gonna fill this bad boy. There's a third cup measure. So we'll fill this bad boy with a third of a cup of sugar and we'll put it in. Vanilla is also a liquid. So this is, we'll put in, a little bit of this, just eyeball how much you want in here. It might have been a little much. However, that'll be, it'll be great. So we'll mix this up to begin with. So as you can see, that kind of looks like a lot of eggs. So I'm gonna add some more sugar. So that should be more realistic, the amount that is needed. Now we're gonna melt the chocolate chips. I'll use about half of this bag. Maybe that should be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. Is this microwave safe? Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna melt it, melt it with some butter actually, I imagine. Let's say half a stick of butter. Okay. We'll melt it for 30 second intervals and it'll be great. Alright, so we'll mix it up a little bit. I imagine it's got to be more melted. How far off am I from the recipe? You're a little far. Not like super far off, though, right? Uh, Still making brownies. We'll see. Alright. was not what I wanted to hear. But we'll bounce back. It'll be great. Alright, so this isn't ideally what it should look like, but... We're in the ballpark. Maybe we'll mix it up and it'll look a little better. Now, something I do want to note is you don't want to add it right away because then it'll start to cook the eggs. I almost wonder if I didn't put enough sugar in for two eggs. I suppose we'll find out though. So once you've incorporated the melted butter and whatnot in, it's starting to look, it's a little eggy I think, but that's what the flour is for. Last time I cooked brownies was about a year ago during a snowstorm. I used a recipe then though, two cups of flour would be one and a half. Let's go one and a half, split the difference between one and two. Maybe just one. Oh, it's also important to preheat the oven to uh, 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now it's preheating. So it's starting to resemble what brownies look like. Once we fully incorporate all that flour, it looks Reminiscent of brownies, I think. Maybe there was some missteps in there, but nothing too noticeable. If you're making the, this recipe for somebody, they won't tell the difference. I I assure you. 
It looks a little light, so let's add some baking cocoa. Three teaspoons. And baking powder is also important. We'll go with a half a teaspoon. I also like to add a little bit of coarse sea salt to mine. So I'll just open up the salt that's over here. So we'll add a little bit of that to, get, to intensify the to intensify the flavor of the chocolate, I think. So it's starting to look a little like Play-Doh. Well, that's fine. We can roll with it. I was afraid of it being too liquidy at the beginning. Maybe now it's not liquidy enough. So to counteract that, I will add a smidgen more. No, there's enough vanilla. You know what, it looks great. Um, <laughs> also water. Okay. okay, yeah. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> How far off from the original recipe am I? <laughs> we'll see if it cooks. We'll add a little bit of water, thin it out. That doesn't look appealing, but we'll mix it up. Shove the mic right in there. It's looking a little paler than my brownies typically look, but so good. So it's pretty far off? Yeah. So an important step is you gotta pan it up. That way it doesn't stick. All right, before I, you know, put all my hard work in, I'll give it a little taste test. Okay. It's not terrible. It tastes pretty good, actually. Pretty proud of myself. Load this boy up. And then... We'll just make sure it's spread out evenly. See if that that's done preheating. Still preheating, but we can pop it in a little early. This is a pretty thin layer of batter, so I'd say... 35 minutes. Why don't we check it after 10 and then just keep checking it in 10 minute intervals? That, we'll actually, ch we'll check it after 10 minutes and keep checking after 10 minutes intervals. I think that might be, that might be the good idea to do. Do that. Okay. And that's how you prepare my tone marones. Operations manager's special fudge brownies. Well, let's pop it in. I'm gonna grab a big list. I keep going up. There we go. Plates. All right, so now it's my turn, and I actually have a ingredients and directions that I'm gonna follow. So, although mine will probably come out better than Tom's, I mean it's. <laughs> for a reason because I have directions. So, all right, first things first, you wash your hands, which I did before off camera while we cleaned up Tone's mess. So I'm gonna do the dry ingredients first. Sift together all dry ingredients and then place into a separate container. So the first dry ingredient is one cup of granulated sugar, which we have here. So we'll take, this is a half a cup, so two of these. It's a little hard because it's in a box, but all right. Maybe you didn't put as much sugar as I thought you did, Tone, because this is a lot of sugar too. There's a video release. Hey! <laughs> Alright, next you do one third cup unsweetened cocoa powder, but sifted. So we're gonna use this nifty little sifter. So baking should be pretty exact. So, ooh, normally I have like a knife at home, but since we're in a dorm, I'm gonna use the edge of the fork and I'm making a mess, but it's okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, good enough. I don't really know why you do this. I just know that's what you do. This is my mom's. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sophie's mom. I'm just gonna keep sifting while you guys. <laughs> okay, it's. That's what I'm looking for. It's not done. Thank you, Cynthia. Looks great. 
We're back. It calls for half a cup of flour. So we're gonna do that. This is so much di more difficult under these conditions, you know? Having a recipe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like not in a legitimate kitchen. You were supposed to sift that, I'm sure. No, I wasn't actually. Really? It doesn't say sifted. The only thing that says sifted is the cocoa powder. Uh, I don't know. I feel like all of the dry ingredients should be sifted. You didn't sift anything! <laughs> Are you to talk? Okay, next I'm gonna use the salt, which is good that it was here because I forgot about that and Tone remembered, which was impressive. And this is just here, so normally I would do it by like scooping it, but you have to grind this. I'm gonna do some of that. And the last dry ingredient is a fourth teaspoon of baking powder, so I'm gonna use my finger. Cool. And now we're gonna mix all of that together, and we'll use this one. Mixing going. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna put that over here. All right, so next we're gonna do the wet ingredients. Actually, first we're gonna melt the butter. That's what we're gonna do first. And we're gonna use the bowl that Tone used for chocolate and butter and just do the butter. So it calls for a half cup of butter, which is a whole stick, actually. I'll just do it in some chunks. Okay, so we're gonna do, also do 30 second intervals like Tone did. So, oh, this my, this, uh, microwave doesn't smell the best. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to finish with the wet ingredients. Okay, beat two eggs with the vanilla. I was also impressed with Tone's use of the fork. I don't know if I can do this, so... <laughs> Alright. Apparently I can. There's one egg. There's two eggs. That was the other thing that impressed me with Tone. He knew the right amount of eggs. I almost added the third. It almost looked myself. like it needed the third. Is it a brownie check time? Okay, that's starting to look. Pretty fucking good. So what I'm gonna do now is just poke it, and if anything is left on the fork when it comes out, then we know that it's not quite ready. Oh, that's ready. Leave it to cool? Let's leave it to cool. All right, Sophia. These are actually looking pretty good. Hey, trash talk over there. <laughs> now I'm gonna put vanilla, and I need one teaspoon of that with the eggs, and we're gonna beat it together. Tone put a lot of vanilla, like a lot. Well, they're gonna so, taste like vanilla, which is amazing. Now we're gonna beat the eggs with the vanilla, so let's do that. You know, we made that one video, one baking video, and now everyone at UCTV knows us as the baking girls. I want to be so proud of like taste tone. What? I want to be so proud of like taste tone. It pretty good. The batter tasted okay. It says add in and gently stir dry ingredients. I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time. <gasps> it's not fully mixed. Oh no. One girl had the recipe too. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of hate right now. You know what? It's probably because I'm not being confident like tone. I just gotta exude some tone. And then I'll. Oh, there's. <laughs> Something wrong in there. Is that an eggshell? It's not an eggshell. It, is it? No, it couldn't have been because it wasn't here. Is it really? No, it's too brittle to be an eggshell. Probably just some clumped up flour or some paper from the flour, maybe. So right now I'm just mixing the dry wet ingredients and it's looking kind of putty like, um, but I still have to put in the melted butter. So I'm feeling good. That's getting kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling confident! There's a lot of sugar, there's a lot of butter. But that's, butter makes everything better, that's what makes it taste good. Pour the melted butter into brownie mix and mix until it just incorporated. Alright, we'll do directions. <laughs> Tone, stop! It's <laughs> just like I've got a lot of competition. Hey, look at this. There's the confidence. This looks good. good. Look at that. Okay, well, that actually does look. That was good. Ooh, that does look good. Just gonna put a, a comparison shot to the to the tones. I right, we'll do a little clay. test. My hands are clean. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, mine tasted good as well. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it all turns out. I guess maybe mine is just for the more refined palate. All right, now just for a little extra kick. Um, that's why I had these. I'm just gonna add some of these in. I don't know if that will make, it will enhance my brownies or make them worse, but I'm just gonna put some in. Well, you know what, no matter what, they'll pan in comparison to mine. 
Okay, Mr. Cocky. Okay, now I'm gonna pan my dish. And now we're gonna pour this bad boy in, just like Tom said. Although, I would say something similar. It looks so good. That's not good. But it's okay. <laughs> Put it into 350 for about 20 minutes. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to taste test my brownie. Let's go with this one. Look at that. That looks good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think it might be a little salty. I may have added too much salt. <laughs> Tastes good. Can uh, I spill one half? Sophia, of course, yeah. You I mean, I'm that. not the official taste tester. Yeah. Ryan is. Mm -hmm. but. Right. <laughs> like a careful fall. You're like Simon Clown, though. You didn't even flinch. She's. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes more like a warm dessert. <laughs> <laughs> a warm one. <laughs> Are you like a cake? Yeah, but like less good. If you need to spit it out, I will only be horribly offended. Do you want the other half of the brown? Do you want the other half? These are good. And Brian will determine the winner. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say. Alright, so my brownies are done. They came out a while ago. We had to cool them off by the window, but now I'm gonna taste it. And these are tones, by the way. I just took them out of the container. Tone, do you wanna try it too since try I tried yours? Do you want a half one or a whole one? Oh, venture a whole one. Let's have me try it first. Yeah. I made no rush to try that. Oh, it looks moist. They're really like fudge brownies are amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's good. <laughs> I'd love to try one. Yeah, yeah. Where do you get tones? Just cause. Looks a little different, but. Okay. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> I, I like them. Mm. <laughs> mm. Pretty good, Sophia. Looks like it's gonna be a stiff competition. Let's see what Ryan thinks. Reach out. <laughs> I started chewing those little, it was like a little crystallized in there still. <laughs> Some bullshit. So that that was it. So <laughs> say something. So that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.